Now I'd like to show you a couple of applications that you can do with the Stereo X Blender. Like I said, we've got an Eventide Time Factor in the first loop. We've also got a TC Electronic G-Force coming into the second loop. So what I'm gonna demonstrate, right now you can hear my sound. We've got delay, we've got a little bit of a chorus reverb happening. And I've got the, uh, like I said, the, the delay is in loop one, the chorus is, uh, the reverb is in loop two. Now obviously when you're playing in the middle of your set, you're on stage and you want to start adjusting things, you want to adjust the wet dry mix, it's extremely difficult to do that uh, on the actual unit when you're trying to also perform. Uh, because of the darkness of the stage, it also doesn't look good. <laughs> so uh, the X Blender, the Stereo X Blender gives us a really simple way to start adjusting things. First of all, you want it completely killed, you just step on the button. So for example, here's my delay. If I want it completely off, I'm just gonna turn it off. Like you would any pedal. I'm gonna turn it back on here. We can also kill it if we wanted to with the uh, large knob here. This is controlling loop one. All the way counterclockwise is off. Completely dry. Start turning it back in here. Obviously, we're starting to hear a lot of the delay. If we turn it 100% clockwise, it's 100% of the wet signal that's coming into the Stereo X Blender mixed in with our dry signal. The dry signal via the Stereo X Blender never goes away. That's keeping the tone as pure as possible. It's just we're mixing in the, the wet signal now with that. It just sounds great. Let's turn off loop one. Let's come over here to loop two, which is enabling, uh, engaging the TC Electronic G-Force here. And again, my knob, uh, loop two effect level is 100% counterclockwise, it's dry. Start bringing it in. You're gonna start to hear that effect come in. Obviously, we turn it all the way up, we're getting a, a giant wash of reverb. But the ease of use and the ease of mixing in our, our signals with the, uh, the Stereo X Blender definitely is such a big help, especially if you're playing a lot and you are changing effects on the fly. You know, whether you go from rehearsal to the stage, things do change, so you're gonna change the main thing that I know that I change when I go from rehearsal onto any stage is the wet dry and even on tour from venue to venue, different size venues, different sounding venues, I'm constantly adjusting only one thing and that is my wet dry mix. The Stereo X Blender just makes that so much easier.